In the final video, we see the full range of skills on display at graduation day and find out about the realities of being a full-time firefighter. Family and friends gather to celebrate the end of the training. Were the 12 weeks of blood, sweat and tears worth it? The highlights? For me it was definitely getting pushed um, outside my boundaries. The highlight really was our urban search and rescue, it really challenged us but uh, for me it really bonded us as a team and that's where we all came together as one. Oh, challenging, yeah definitely challenging but fun. Great group of people and you just create team bonds and you just get through the hard, hard times and enjoy, enjoy the good times. The day-to-day -day life of a firefighter is not all about running into burning buildings. Uh, the reality of, uh, of being a firefighter in today's um, day and age is that uh, fires make up a small percentage of what we actually do these days. Um, we do a lot more motor vehicle accidents and um, medical calls like CPRs and lift assist. Coming off recruits course um, and transitioning into station life, is, uh, it's a bit of a different um, a kettle of fish. Station life is a little bit quieter than what you uh, have experienced in Rotorua. So on station we have a shift system, uh, two days and then two nights and then four days off. Um, in all reality, before you know it, at the blink of the eye, you've finished working and you're on your four days off again and it's quite annoying as a new recruit because you just want to be working all the time. So there isn't really a typical week and that's one of the really cool things about the job is um, you know, you show up to work for your day or your night and you really don't know what to expect. You might have plans um, and then it can all go out the window as soon as the, um, the bells go. When we're not out on the track, we do things like um, training, keeping up with study, um, and then we do other things like going out to the community, helping with smoke alarms, doing fire prevention, education, um, going to schools, visiting schools, talking to kids about uh, what to do if there's a fire in the house and how to stay safe. Another part of life as a firefighter is purple calls, where firefighters attend medical emergencies. Well a purple call is something that the, when the ambulance receive a call at their control centre they code it as immediate life threat. So that could be something like a respiratory arrest, a cardiac arrest, a near drowning or even in fact like a suicide attempt. Firefighters are trained and supported to deal with these challenging situations. Yeah, when you go to these type of events, obviously you're working within a crew environment, so you rally around as a crew, there's four of you there that are dealing with it, and obviously on the way back to station, if it was a particular tough call, uh, you'll talk about it a, a, as a crew, and obviously but there are services out there that if you are as an individual still struggling with what you may have attended, you have the ability through the Fire and Emergency New Zealand to get help. Each region has what we call a peer support team, and that's generally a group of our own colleagues and some from an out, outside organisations which we can go to and talk to if we need to, if we're struggling with something. Get your applications in now. I'd say definitely, uh, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and uh, give it a go. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had. Fire and Emergency, it's the best job in the world. Uh, it's, a, it's a great place, it's dynamic, it's always changing. You, you've got structure in your day as well. It's uh, teamwork, uh, team orientated, and uh, once you've been with a crew for a little while, they become fun and family.